Hi everyone, this is Tal again from Doxy. Welcome back. So today I wanted to show you how to use our editor. Let's begin by creating a new book. You can start by pressing here, add book, or also there's the option of adding a book here. In this case, we'll call this brand new book add. Now let's click open our book. And let's get started creating our documentation. So here's our editor. It's quite intuitive and easy to use. Testing words. You easily have the bolding, italics. This is for markup. And as you can see, once you pause and press one of these buttons, you're able to see what they do. And this is, let's say, a link. So in some cases, you may need to link some of your documentation to a video or some explanatory page. Well, that's easy. All we do is highlight video in this case. We go here and we paste the link. In this case, it's a YouTube video. Also note that you can link to any one of your books or shelves. So that's great. And now this link will take us right to the video. And when you present your portal and publish it, all your users will be able to use that. There's also other hidden features as in crossing off, uh, keys or buttons, keywords or definitions, which is also great. And, in, and as well, we can talk about headers. For example, that's a subsection header. And this is a subsection header. So header explaining fine details. And then subsection will explain other information. Also, you can add certain numbers to various sections. And that's great too. Here, if you need to make bullet points, you can explain here bullet points. Um, must note that this information it is free to learn how to use Doxy. Put a capital B there. So that's great. And also you can have numbered bullet points, which is very similar to this, but a little bit different. And also just bullet points without numbers or without uh, bullets. And that way, let's show this can show you an example of how it looks. They'll look like this. This way you can design different information the way that you see fit. Now let's look at how to add code. Some companies, they need to add different code into their um, Doxy documentation and explain it so that people understand how to use their various SaaS products and how to embed various codes to manipulate their SaaS products to make it match their use case. Okay, now let's continue. So let's say that your company needs to present code to their customer or client. This is done easily with Doxy. All you need to do is press this button right here, paste your code, set the language, and that's it. It's done. Now this is great because when your portal is published and your clients take a look at it, they can easily copy and paste the code that you presented. And that way their tech team will have no issue at all to use the code for whatever purposes that they need to and whatever use case that they have set forth to accomplish. Now adding pictures to the Doxy is also a piece of cake. All you need to do is click right here, images, and you can drag or drop, or you can use unsplash. In this case, let's say I want to get a picture of flowers on unsplash. I can just scroll in, find the one that I like. Uh, let's load some more. Mm, this looks good. Perfect. And that's it, done. Now you have a picture that is royalty free that you can use on Unsplash. 
but let's say your company has the need to post some videos because nowadays most companies are using YouTube to generate and promote their products and to explain their products with videos. That's easily done by clicking here, pressing this button here, and I already have a video that I've made just a few days ago. I paste the embedded code here and done. Now we have a video as well. So as you can see, there are many uses for Doxy in generating code, adding pictures, videos, styling your pages the way that you see fit, and you can do this in any way that you need to. Also, please check out our styling guide at help.doxy.io and you can find it there and that way you can style your whole knowledge portal to match your brand's look and feel. Thank you for this video. On the next video, we'll jump into how to publish your first documentation. See you there.